How does God heal the sick? Exploring God's wisdom for healing the sick, part two. We saw in part one that God's word is held to all, to all those that find the word. If you want to find the help, find God's word. If you are looking for healing and you want to live healthy, find the word. God says, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be healed, even as you so prosper. Why is God wishing? Because there is what to do. If you can find the word, you will find health. You also, we also saw that God's word is held to all our flesh. It's not just held to all people, but held to all our flesh. In other words, every part of us that is diseased or sick will be healed by the word. Everyone that is sick will be healed by the word. Every sickness, every part of us that is sick will be healed by the word. How does God heal by the word? I showed up God's word is creative. God is a creator. And God creates by his word. In Psalm 33 and verse 6 and 9, the Bible says, by the word of God, we are the heavens made, and all the host of them by the bread of his lips. For God spoke, verse 9, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. When God speaks, creation erupts. Everything God created came by the word. So God's word is creative. God created man by the word. Chapter 1 of Genesis, Genesis verse 27. Bible said, God created man by the word. Male and female, God created them and God called them Adam. Man was created by the word. In chapter 2, verse 7 of Genesis, Bible said, God formed man from the dust of the earth and put his breath into his spirit, into his nostril, into him, and man became a living being. Remember, God is a spirit. So, when God operates, he, pray, he operates by his spoken word. God's word is creative. I show you that after Lazarus died and was buried and had been in the grave for four days, Jesus Christ came and by the spoken word called him out of the grave. The decomposing, decaying, smelling, rotting body became normal. Every dead organ in his body was created afresh. The word is creative. Two, the word is curative, the word cures. In Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 6, it says, God speaking says, I will restore health unto you. Jeremiah 33 and verse 6. I will restore health unto you. And I he says, and I will cure them. I will restore health or bring health and cure to you. He says, I will cure them and I will reveal unto them abundance of peace and truth. The word of God is curative. It is curative. God cures. God's word is curative. It cures. Whatever it is that the enemy may have placed in you, I decree that you'll be cured in the name of Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 9, Luke chapter 9, verses 1 and 2, Jesus called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. The word of God is curative. Whatever you need to be free from, that is cause sickness, I decree right now, by this word, be cured in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree, be cured in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that you'll be cured right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God's word is curative. Number three, God's word is surgical. It can cut off. 
The Bible says in Hebrews 4 verse 12, the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It can cut, it can pierce, it can divide, it can remove. Everything God wants to remove from any man, he uses the word to remove it. In Genesis 2 verse 21, the Bible says, God opened the body of Adam, cut off a rib by what? Not with a knife, but by the word which is sharper than any two-edged sword. God sutured it back, closed it back by the word. With that one single rib, God formed the woman. And the God brought the woman to the man. The word of God is surgical. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every oppressional disease in you, goiter, tumor, every growth, appendicitis, whatever need to be operated upon, to be removed from you, in the name of Jesus, by the word, I decree a surgical, supernatural, divine, and heavenly oppression carried out on you right now. And I decree that evil planting of the devil cut off. A young woman came to me. The husband and herself were pastors in the living faith at Eket in New York, in, at, at Eket in, in, in what do you call it? Aquabom State. They came to Enugu where I was and they met me. What was the problem? She came to UNTH because she was billed for an oppression because she was told she had fibroid. They were pastors. I asked her, what do you want? Do you want Jesus to operate on you or you want to go to you and teach you to pray? I said, sir, I came because I know I want Jesus to pray on me. I say in the name of Jesus Christ, that which the doctor saw and they called fibroid, they want to operate you to remove. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the sword of the spirit, the word of God, which is sharper than any two edged sword, I declare that cut off and no razor or any knife from any man will touch your body. You are free. I tell you the truth. In 11 months from that day, she carried her first child called Delight, a, band, a, very, a very beautiful baby girl. They are alive till tomorrow. Nobody, they were surprised at UNTH that no, this, lady, this lady didn't come back for any oppression. No fibroid. No fibroid. She has four children now. Not one fibroid was seen in her. After that, she took in, a, after a long while I was out of town, was in just for, 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 for ministry, they came back and she came back and said, Daddy, I want another child. I said, go and conceive. Like play. She conceived. Few days to the delivery. Her younger sister is a senior midwife at Enugu Park Lane. There's a hospital called and Esu Parkland, Esu Teacher Hospital Parkland, and her sister was there. The child in her womb was dead. She was going to her, to her, to her own doctor that works with the Good Shepherd, a hospital run by Anglican Church at Enugu, for evacuation. She cried and kept my office. I laughed. I said, The time is coming now, is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear shall live. I put my hand out and I said, Child, leave. Jesus, my name, instantly, life came back. I said, go back to the same place. Let me confirm. She came back. The child that was dead was alive again. She was to give birth, and the devil said, this child, I must kill the child. She had given, given birth, and the, the placenta would not come, and they were to operate on her. She called. I said, nobody is to touch your body with any knife. Now, placenta, they are already giving her the medicine that makes people sleep. I say, placenta come out. Her testimony was that she saw me wearing white suit to where she was, and she slept off. She was sleeping when she pushed out. Nobody touched her. She gave birth. The word of God is surgical. It can cut off anything. It can accomplish anything. Now in the name of Jesus, whatever they said you have, that God didn't put there, I cut it off now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
how forcible are right words. Job 6.25 God's word is forcible. It enforces anything we desire. Today, I enforce your healing. Today, I enforce your freedom. Today, I enforce your deliverance. Today, I enforce your restoration. In Jesus' mighty name, the word of God is medicinal. It is medicinal. It is medicine. The word is medicine. The word is medicine to those who have found it. Proverbs 4, verse 22. The word is medicinal. When you find it, you have received God's medicine. When you take it day in, day out, the same way you take your drug, it will clear you off every sickness. It will clear you off from every disease. It will set you free. It is medicinal. My prayer for you is that from today, you will take this drug. I get up and I shout it to the devil's hearing. I am free from every sickness and disease because Christ took himself took my diseases. He himself took my sicknesses. What he took, you can't put on me. I am free. For by his stripes, I am healed. I am taking my medicine. <laughs> oh, I am free. Free forever. The Bible says, Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the tree. That we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness. By whose stripes we are healed. If I was here, I am healed. If I am healed, I say so. Whatever you believe and say, you possess. For with the heart, man believes and is made right with God. But with the mouth, man speaks and possesses what he says. For you shall have whatever you say. So, when you believe, say. Whatever you believe and say, God will perform. For I will do as you have spoken to my ears. Numbers 14, 28. So, when you want to see yourself free from sickness, take the medicine of the word. Speak what God says with your mouth. Believe it in your heart and say so with your mouth. And it will reproduce after its kind because the word is reproductive. It's a seed. It bears fruit after its kind. God's word is a seed. It is reproductive. It reproduces after its kind. It is called the incorruptible seed which lives and abides forever. And once it is sown, it produces an incorruptible body. That's why I am bouncing like football. Incorruptible. Hallelujah. What I am enjoying, you can enjoy. And I welcome you to this life of enjoying divine healing and divine health in the name of Jesus Christ. God's word is prophetic. When it is spoken, God goes forth by a prophet called Moses. Israel was brought out of Egypt. The Bible said, God led forth. He brought forth his people with silver and with gold. And there was not one person feeble among all their tribe. God's word is prophetic. It brings out and it preserves. Hosea 12, 13. By a prophet, Israel was brought out. By a prophet, they were preserved. God opposed, sustains all things by the word of his power, Hebrews 1, 3. So God's word is prophetic. In other words, when declared, it brings them what we say. Ezekiel went to the valley of dry bones. Shall this dead dry bones live? He said, God, you know, God said prophesy. He prophesied. The bones came together. Flesh covered them, but they were dormant on the floor. What I want to say, speak again. Tell the winds to come. Tell the spirit to enter them. He said, wind blows. Enter them. And they all stood up an army. The word is prophetic. It restores health even to dry bones. I call Baradia. It restores health even to dry bones. Right now, I decree health restore to whatever is dead or dying or dried up in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. I speak the life into you. I speak life into you. I command life to surge back into any dead area of your body, of your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, live and not die and declare the works of the Lord from now. In Jesus' mighty name. God's word is the word in season. When it comes forth at any point in time, it brings what it carries in that season. Now is the season for it to be healed. Because God says, in an acceptable time, I've heard you. In the day of salvation, I've heard you. It says, Behold, now. Now is the accepted time. Now 
is the day of healing and salvation. Therefore, you are free. Be loosed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a new day for you. Be blessed. Live and not die. And let your testimony be shared everywhere. If you are dead, I cast the spirit of death out of you. And I command life to be restored right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of him in the world that raised up Jesus from the dead, if he dwells in a mortal body, shall quicken us, shall lift us up by his spirit which dwells in us. I decree that you be quickened from the crown of your head to the source of your feet right now. Be free. Live and not die. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Peace.